Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video today. I am super excited. We are taking a look at a newer brand of motorhome filled up with all the options, full body paint, and it's an awesome motorhome to full time live in. This is the 2023 Fleetwood Flex Model 35R. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Flex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video again today. I am super excited to be showing you guys this newer style, the Fleetwood Flex. Before I begin, do you gotta say hi to Andrea? Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. I am so excited. Anytime I get to review a Fleetwood, it's just a good day. Now, here's why I'm excited. They have, in Andrea's opinion, the worst interior color choices, but <laughs> it's Fleetwood. So I'm eager to see, like, Andrea's all like, don't do this on the inside. And that's what they did here, but they did it Fleetwood style. So I'm wondering if she's gonna like it. Yes, I have to see it with the lights on because yeah. I definitely, my first opinion was like, hmm. Today so. might be the day where the Fleetwood <laughs> doesn't pass the Andrea test. Without further ado, let's begin. Model is 35R Flex. The actual tip to tip length is 36 feet long. Andrea, this is a Fleetwood Flex. So in previous years, you had the Fleetwood Flare and then you could upgrade everything on the flare um, and it was just an upgrade. Well now, you can't upgrade the flare. The flare is just entry level and the flex is a flare with every option on it. Right up front here, we do have a nice headlight design. Chrome, full body paint standard, nice big windshield, everything that you want in a motorhome. It's fantastic. Coming on down here, you can see that it does sit on the F53 chassis, which means it has 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla engine. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Continentals. I love those. 245-70R, 19.5. Right here, we do have um, frameless window. It's a doggy window. And Jen, please put this picture. Bing! That's Yuna giving me the side eye because I think I was away for her for too long and she was kind of being like a little snooty. Dogs are so funny with their emotions and their faces. Up front here, Andrea, we do have the cameras. Camera right here, I mean. Right here, we do have mirrors on both sides. And then right there is a armless door awning. And then coming on down the side here, you can see frameless windows throughout this motorhome. Another armless awning with wind sensor. So if the awning, if the wind blows too hard, the awning's gonna automatically retract itself back in. You have speakers on the outside. Right here, Sansui TV. Good size TV. Yes, ma'am. And then right here, sideways swinging doors. Now they are fiberglass doors, but they are sand latch. Very nice, and I like this storage compartment. What say you? I agree. Yes, ma'am. Good storage. Right here is a propane. And then Miss Jennifer, bing, please put all the specifications about this motorhome so everybody can see who's watching on television. Hey, you know it'd be funny? If on like April Fool's Day or whatever, we don't fool the audience. Look at the storage there. Oh yeah. If we fool Jen on April Fool's Day, well, don't and tell have her. like <laughs> 300 bings, Oh right? yeah, that would be so that funny. That would be funny. Up oh, there's your favorite ladder, Matt. Yes, ma'am, right there we got storage. And then we got the two-piece ladder. And then right underneath there is a propane quick connect. Now the two-piece ladder is to get up on the roof. It is a one-piece TPO roof. And I have told Fleetwood and everybody in America, I'm not climbing up these ladders anymore. I do not like it. Um, so we're just not gonna go up on the roof. Just so everybody knows, it is one-piece TPO with two air conditioning units. Nice fiberglass rear cap, Andrea, I love it. Backup camera there, 8,000 pound hitch. Doesn't mean you can tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with at least 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you must. No before you tow. Yes, ma'am. And then right over here is a rear tail light design. And Andrea. Here we go now. All right, hold on. Here we go. 
Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one-piece TPO roof. Not one, but two air conditioning units. I love that. Dometic Max Air fan and your Wine Guard 360 digital antenna and Wi-Fi Ranger down there. You are so dedicated to your job. Hey. <laughs> He go, you go up another roof just to get the uh, flex roof. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Just because what Andrea said. <laughs> right here is where we fill up the potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Water heater right here. Love how they continue the paint. 50 amp power cord. Okay. City water connects and a black tank flush. Other side of the storage water filtration system here's where you fill up your fuel okay outdoor shower right here right over here it's more storage and uh in that compartment it's going to be your dumps right over here more storage uh-oh and then here is your generator yes and it is an onan 5500 generator and then finishing up, you can just see the other side, camera, emblem, wheels, mirrors, everything. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Flex looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, everyone. I think it's down there, the cargo carrying capacity. All right, cargo carrying capacity. 4,225 pounds. Wow. It's very dark in here. Walk through, please. Okay. Wow. Look at this. Good walkway, even with the posing slides. I'm still getting through here, no problems. It does open up a little bit more right here. And you can definitely open the fridge. There is the bathroom and the master bedroom yay you can use the bed with the slide in all right andrea let's get these lights on and the slide outs out and get your first take on this dark interior spring is here and that means it's time to get back to the great outdoors and go camping but don't let a bad night's sleep ruin your camping trip that's where our friends at RVMattress.com come in. They have a wide selection of mattresses designed specifically for RVers. All of their mattresses are made 100% in the USA and they're using the highest quality of materials available and offering free shipping. And not only that, with our promo code MATT, you get 25% off your purchase when you click our link down in the YouTube description below. So why wait? Upgrade to a comfortable and supportive mattress now from RVMattress.com and start enjoying your camping trip like never before. So visit them today by going to RVMattress.com backslash Matt. Let's continue the video. All right, lights, camera, action. Andrea, what do you, what's initial first take? Um, not a fan, not a fan of the colors at all. Wow. Just not a fan. Wow. Sorry, just too brown for me. Andrea does not like the brown. Here's what I said. I think it's a different kind of brown. It, it, it almost, see, I, I kind of like it when it's like a light, light brown or it's like a different shade of brown. This reminds me of like a mustard brown or something. Like it's mixed with yellow. I don't know. Here's what I know. We're going to start up here and then we'll take a look at absolutely everything. But it's kind of exciting to see, you know, Andrea not loving a Fleetwood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And again, to each their own. Right up front here, Andrea, this cockpit, 7.3 liter V8, I love it. You have your screen right here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything that you want. Auto leveling controls right there. Um, you got your power shades, cup holders here. Everything is very, very nice. And then we got more cup holders here. USB and low storage spot right there. Andrea, how do you feel? It's very comfortable. I have a, uh, let's see, a workstation here. And this drawer. also pulls out right here too. Yes. Um, I got a cup holder here. I have plenty of leg space. I did want to mention something though about this chair. Look at it. See how it's embroidered and everything? Yeah. It reminds me of Thor. Of Thor? Yeah, doesn't it? Oh, wow. So they're putting a Thor chair in right. a Fleetwood. That's the first thing I thought when I looked at it. But it is a comfortable chair and they both swivel. And there is a pedestal table that goes there. Sorry, wow. just the first thing that popped out. Wow. <laughs> 
We got cabinets above. Okay. And then another... I can't believe you didn't catch that, Matt. Well, I mean, I don't think of other manufacturers when well, I'm in when I'm in a manufacturer. I don't either, but it just looked like it. Yeah. All right, coming on down here, we do have a bunk over the cab, which the key's not in there, so we are gonna keep the AC on. This bunk over the cab drops down. It's a thin mattress. Again, it is for the non-paying customer, and it holds what? 600 pounds? 600 pounds in the bunk over the cab. And there was a ladder cab. that would go there. Yes. And then over here in the living room, look at this. We have very nice cabinetry. I see what Andrea's saying with like the brown yellow. I hate the terminology mustard because that gives me like a negative. But as far as brown, I'm liking it, Andre. I th actually think it looks really good. Um, it's just better than the normal brown. And then let's check out these valances. All right, valances. I'm ready for it. Approved. Bing. The valances are cute. I'm sorry. What do you mean? No, you said you didn't like this motorhome. I said I didn't like the colors. But that doesn't include this. This is cute. Look, it's like little hair bone. It looks like my backsplash in my kitchen. It's adorable. You're telling me you cannot like the interior of the motorhome, but you can still like the valances? Yes. I can still like the valances. Andrea, today was the day you were supposed to fail a Fleetwood for <laughs> Well, valances. if they would have been hideous valances, I would have, but they're cute. Unreal, Andrea. Unreal. Okay, right here, here's what else is unreal. This is a very comfortable theater seat. I have a cup holder right there, remote holder there. Andrea, um, this theater seat, it has a big belly, right? Right here. And I feel like it's given me incredibly good posture right now. Like I cannot sink in. Does that so make sense? So is it like firm? Is that what you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah, you gotta sit to try to tell me the word. Oh yeah, it is. It, it's like not real firm, but it's a little bit firm. But I get what you're saying. But I can't sink in. Right. And I'm a, I'm a lot of weight to right. sink. Yeah. That's weird. It's okay. It's I'm not, not. I'm not hating on it. It's just like I feel like I'm. Like, like I you can't can, relax. Right. Yeah. Like, it's not a sinker. And that probably goes away after time. Directly across Andrea is the TV Entertainment Center. We do have MCD blinds on both sides, nice windows. Sansui TV, no up or down. You know, it just is what it is right there. And then over here, Andre, we have a very nice jackknife sofa. This is a good size. This is where I would be sitting because my Uno would be laying right there. Um, you know, really good size. And while we drive down the road, Andrea and Uno would be pretty much laying right there. Jackknife down as you're going down the road. And there is another TV right there. And then look at the walls. How, how are you liking the wall colors? Honestly? Yeah, no, I, no, I, lie, lie, uh, lie, lie to America. Uh, I, I don't like that brown. So I feel like that brown throws everything off. To each their own? Yes. To each their own, Andrea. Over here, the dinette. Oh, okay. Storage underneath. Power USB. We have more storage above right here yes ma'am and then this over here does drop down to make a bed we got cup holders and everything and again very nice mcd privacy blinds very nice yes cup holders and everything and then just so everybody knows this does drop down to make a bed and behind you, Miss Andrea. Yes, the TV. Yes. See, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's there because what you were saying, you might sit with Yuna on yep. that if we had this, but then you wouldn't be able to watch TV. But I guess you can because of the one behind me. There you go. They thought everything. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome here. Stock number 266-888. Is two hundred twelve thousand eight hundred and twenty-three dollars, Andrea? That is MSRP. Sale price: we have it thirty percent off to a sale price of one forty-nine nine ninety-five. Wow, Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. But guess what? I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. If you guys are interested in getting this motorhome or any motorhome 
All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash mattscash. I've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us any way you can. Our team is here to help everybody get the absolute best price in America, especially on a Rev Group product. Which, Andrea, who's Rev Group? We are. No. Oh, Fleetwood. Fleetwood and Holiday Rambler and American Coach. Yes, ma'am. So if you guys like one of those three and you're not giving us a call, you're paying too much. All right, look at this. Here is the kitchen. Nice adjustable shelf there. Pretty frosted. I, I do like the frosted look right here. Yes, ma'am. Good cabinet space. Yes. All right, I like that there's a window in here. We have solid surface countertop, very pretty. And then we've got a double sink. All right. With the extension. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and let's see. I did see, oh yeah, there is a cabinet here. Okay. I like that, how they put the electrical outlet. Right yes, there. very nice. Oh, good space under the sink. Okay. We've got three doors. I think they're all the same. Right. And then we've got the Insignia microwave, sorry. Yes, very nice. Okay, so they, I like that they have the backsplash all the way around. Okay. I do like the backsplash. I've seen it in other Fleetwoods. Yes. Um, and then we've got this three burner propane cooktop, which is uh, Dometic. Okay. It looks very residential style, doesn't it? I like it. I, I haven't seen one Neither like have that. I. Looks good. And let's see, the oven. The oven's really little though. Yeah, really little. And then we've got another drawer down here. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got the Insignia compressor refrigerator. Yes. Very nice. Okay, next to me is, uh, let's see. All right. Big so pantry. This is prepped. I for think. a stackable yes. washer and dryer. Very nice. I love that. And I love how they give you the option, especially in a motorhome this price point. Right over here, Andrea, is your precision circuit board lights levels and everything something that i really love this is touchscreen but they also give you the buttons and i like the buttons they're just easier you know like sometimes when you push these you're like is it activating is it not so to have like a secondary is very very so nice. look at this pocket door right here going into the bathroom i like the design all right good step up that's not bad at all really good size shower andre if this is like uh this almost looks like a 36 by 36 it's it's very squared off very good size i got a ton of space in here plenty of head height this is a phenomenal shower all right over here we've got some storage yes ma'am and then here all right adjustable shelves in there and then it gives you a really good size sink here yes ma'am underneath you've got storage oh look there's the uh toilet paper holder okay and then you've got a nice medicine cabinet oh with liquefied yes. sitting on the shelves guys if you're interested in that you can get it on amazon at primepoopingposition.com and andrea we won't be saying that for much longer i know do you know why i do and it, it's not because we, we will always be selling this on Amazon and at primepoopmusician.com. But we might be starting to sell it somewhere else very, very soon. I don't know. Here's what I do know, Andrea. This is tough. It's tough because my, my knee's hitting that a little bit. I wonder if... No, I'm totally fine. I just don't know if I should pass it or fail it. Andrea, this is a net neutral prime poop position. <laughs> I could easily pass it. I could easily fail it. Um, it's like this RV is small enough for me to pass it, but it's also big enough. I, I, I don't know. That is the most neutral prime poop position ever. And it just, it doesn't fail. It just doesn't pass. No, ma'am. Look Finish at that. Up. Nice entryway into the master bedroom. Yes. Pocket door there. Look at what we got going on here. Okay, so, oh, okay, we got the nightstand, Little storage bit of... under there. Yes, ma'am. Look at the light sconces, very cute. I do, I do like the headboard, yeah. it's cute. Not only that, I like the little lights on the side and everything. There's plenty of power in USB, which is very important. Huge storage above. I am digging that headboard. This looks very homey in it here. It does. I think the bedroom is cute. Yes. You got the same on the other side. You got uh, a nightstand. And then over here we have the wardrobe. Huge, bro. Huge. 
Very oh, nice. Oh my goodness, look at all these nice drawers. drawers. Very nice. Wow, I mean, that's like nine drawers. Wow, very nice. Tons and tons of drawers. TV right there, more storage. Let's and we see. Okay, oh my gosh. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Andrea, overall, a fantastic motorhome for a fantastic price. Now, before everybody leaves, that's it, and that's the review. It's time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we just don't like about it, Andrea. What do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it first. I have one on the outside. Andrea, dislike number one for me is going to be two parts on the outside. One, I don't like the wet bay and the outdoor shower all exposed like a camper. You know what I'm saying? This is a motor home. It should all be enclosed. I feel like they can all do it. That's going to be part one. Part two, I hate this door for the generator. This is the most pain in the butt door. I absolutely hate it the most. And I can't believe they're still doing this on the generators. That's dislike number one. Andrea, what's dislike number two? Okay, my dislike is... Okay, turn around right there. You see that slide? Talk to me. This is a no-no for me. What's that? This here. I would just be tripping on it. You sure? Yep, yep. Anytime it's like not flush, I, I always have problems. Okay, Andre. I mean, we can we can say that. and I'm, I'm just going to combo it with it's kind of tight in there. You know what I'm saying? I feel like for a little bit of more money, they could have put a slide out on, right on this side as well and just really opened up that bedroom. That's just like number two. And then, Andrea, I have a dislike number three if okay. you don't. No, I mean, other than the color, but that's not really a big deal. Something about these flexes and flares. Oh, this bed, bed is very high. high up. Not only that, you guys know we love our RVMattress.com that offers the Aurora mattress that's even thicker. It's going to be a little hard to climb up and down here. Um, but if you get a step stool, no big deal. Um, but I'm just thinking, you know, I love how it's a king size bed. It's just elevated a little too high. And you know what? It's because of storage. If they eliminated that storage, they could have made it lower, which that's just something that me, being five foot four and a half, prefers. Well, Andrea, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Burr, burr, burr. Wait, that was a negative. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> Andrea, you want to go first or me? You can go first, man. Did you even touch on this backsplash? I did. I did. Okay, beautiful backsplash. Um, first things first, I'm going to say I do like this kitchen. I like the solid surface countertops. I like the backsplash. I like how much space you have, good size fridge, and the fact that you're able to get a pantry or a stackable washer dryer. That's something that I'm really digging. That's number one. Andrea, like number two. Like number two for me is going to be uh, I do like the whole, I, I like the floor plan. Yes. Actually. Yes. I love the entertainment seating. I love the sofa and the fact that you get the two TVs. Yeah. Andrea, like number three for me is going to be the oversizedness in here. I do love the king size bed. I think that shower is huge and awesome, especially for a motorhome this size. I do love these theater seats and the driver and passenger seat. They're just big, plush and comfy. Big boy tested, big boy approved, especially in a gas motorhome. Sometimes, you know, it does get a little tight. So. This one being tall man approved, it's pretty nice. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in buying this unit, click the links down below or go to mattsrvreviews.com. Fill out the contact form. Our team is here to help people get the absolute best price in America. Andrea, what do you have to say? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Fleetwood does read the comments. They do watch the videos, so please leave your feedback. I hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.